Also with a confident hitter that you do exactly what he just did. Rip the ball right back up the middle. Around third and on his way home in front of the throw of Dylan Muka is Sean Beasley. So it's an RBI base hit. And that's ball four. So he walks in a run. His third consecutive base on balls. An RBI for Muka. Here. Looping curveball right back up the middle. One run is going to score. Make it two as the ball gets kicked around by Beasley in center. And then scoring on the play is Ryan Sabo. Just down the line and fair down the line. One run, make it two. Runner coming to third, sliding in front of the throw and into double. A big two run double off the bat of Tyler Rollins. And a five to one Southern Illinois lead. Into center field and this should do it. The squeeze by Dylan Muka and Southern Illinois has Come back from being shut out yesterday by Missouri State. And has sent Illinois State packing. A seven to one final. And Illinois State's season ends dead even at 27 and 27. Uh, it's working well, it looked like change up was pretty good. Change up's pretty good, yeah. And you know, stayed in the zone for the most part and uh, stayed, stayed down and defense played well as it, as it normally does. And so, uh, yeah, I thought we pitched well all day. So we come in and did a great job uh, throwing strikes and uh, letting his defense help him. And so and Nettemeyer comes in and does a great job. So I, I thought we pitched well all day. I was curious to ask Ryan if he was going to bunt there in the fifth inning with two men on. He said no. What were you kind of thinking? At uh, point? Well, it, it had something to do with personnel. Uh, two guys on base can't run, <laughs> for one thing. And uh, we've done that a few times this year, and we get the force play at third. And I just felt like, you know, with the way the game was going, to, uh, to let them swing and uh, see if we can put a two or three run inning together. And it worked out. And we, normally in that situation, we would have bunted. But it's just, uh, you know, uh, the personnel we had up. Uh, in my mind, uh, didn't didn't lend itself for that. And he said he wasn't the greatest bunter. No, the that's I didn't, didn't want to really I didn't want to say that right. to you. No. I didn't want to throw him under the bus, but yeah, well, he's <laughs> he's not done a great job in that role all year. And uh, uh, again, the net was part of the personnel. Sure. You know, he, him bunting and then the two, you know, right. I think Black Fan and Hutchins were on, and they, they obviously don't run well. Right. So uh, that was my thinking, and uh, it worked out for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, how much of, you know, you get in a tournament like this, how much of it is just a mindset? Your kids want to be here and want to play, and it looks like they do. Well, I tell you what, this is, I have to tell people all year long, our kids, not, not surprised, we have never quit. Uh, through everything that we've gone through this year and, and uh, uh, you know, the losses, our kids have never, ever quit. Our effort is good every day, and they show up to play, and, you know, even right down to the last game of the regular season and coming into the tournament, I have no, no doubts that they will show up and play every day. They've done it all year, and, uh, that's just, uh, I love these kids, man. That's the beauty of it. I was looking at your roster. You don't have many juniors and seniors. I guess that's encouraging. You got so many freshmen and sophomores. Well, that's been, that's been the thing all year. It was 26 freshmen and sophomores on our roster. We knew we were young, and then, uh, you know, everybody has injuries, but, uh, you know, we had some major injuries, and when you're that young to begin with. And, uh, but again, uh, you know, our kids realize that. They know the future is exciting, and, uh, and they just keep battling and keep playing, and, uh, you know, it worked out for us today. Who do you have to throw tomorrow? Well, either be Primer or Holderman. Uh, Primer has been our number three guy, but didn't throw last weekend. It's had a little bit of a tender bicep, and so if he's ready to go, it'll be him. If not, it'll be Holderman, the freshman. All right. Thank you. Thank you.